Hey Tag, it's Mad and welcome back to the channel. Right, so I have mentioned it a few times the last week or so. At the minute, I'm at work. And um, although I'm at work, in the evenings I'm lucky enough to have a Wi Fi connection. Unfortunately, yeah, where I'm staying, there's about another hundred odd people using the same Wi Fi connection. It's fairly fast, but keep getting lag bombs. And um, that has meant some replays I've been recording. That could have been pretty good and good enough to chuck on the channel have been ruined and this is going to be two of them uh, I just picked two that were quite funny anyway so first game then out in the pad for 88 tier 8 premium German medium tank on Corellia doing the standard thing going to take the hill we have spot the challenger there and because I don't see anything else I decide to carry on going I wouldn't normally do this I'd normally go up and secure the hill um, but if you can secure this back road, um, yeah, you should have a fair good chance of winning the game from here. The idea is to win this back road, then win the hill, or try and win it both at the same time if you've got enough of your team that pushes forward quick enough. Anyway, so just waiting for some shots. Light tank on the hill is spotting a few things. Right, here we go. Far on the move, miss. Is that a leopard? Come on, come on, come on. Leopard's almost out. He is now. Right, so that's my first damaging shot in the game and a kill. Right, so what's the best thing about the Panther 88? Well, it's the gun. It's so accurate. It is just amazing to use. You have great accuracy, pretty good pen, um, but for a tier 8 premium, the pen's amazing. Just watch this. That's a Pershing. The like, gun manlet area of the Pershing's turret is pretty strong. I can snipe out hatches with this gun easily. The reload's pretty good, and when you're in situations like this, just check out accuracy, it's like a laser. Just like the Tiger. Pretty much the same gun. Look at that, pushing down, kill number two. Lots of pushing on there, nice no, three goes for it. Gonna use him as my scout. He has a lot more armor than I do. Right, so there we go, he's spotting things already. I get spotted as well, unfortunately. BKM, only a tier 6 medium, but he can still pen me easy. That was a shame. Right, just using this corner. There we go, look at the accuracy on this gun. Amazing. Can I pick up the kill shot? I'm trying, it's not there. BKH. Another tier 6. Um, I just know there's nothing real, no real skill involved in that. It's just money at the end of the day when you're playing tier 8 prems. Right, so I get spotted and something's looking at me and I pull back. Yeah, that's a Borsig. I don't want to be sat in front of a Borsig. Yeah, I'm getting slightly frustrated these days. And I am venting my frustration now and again. Don't recommend you do that, it's just a waste of money really. When you're trying to make money in the tier 8 premium and you fire shots randomly. It would be funny one day if they did actually turn on team damage. For you guys that have been playing the game for a long time will know that artillery used to be able to team damage and that used to be um, quite amusing sometimes. I've got a couple of the lucky medals which you are unable to get at the minute unless one of the enemy's team drowns one of their team right next to you. There's a very rare chance of that happening. Anyway, so now I take the hill. Plenty of sniping shots. If you look at the map now, it's gone now, but up near our spawn, there was a couple of tanks lit up from the enemy team there. They've gone all the way around. And I don't know if I ignored it at this point or I just didn't notice it. They're going to get here soon. So I need to make the most of this. Yeah, typical, just a tracking shot. Well, not even a tracking shot, a crit on his tracks. Right. Another Pershing, this gun is just so cool. Love it. Fire blind does nothing. Our artillery's up here, because he's about to have a, uh, a rude awakening as well, just like I am. Right, so we're winning just. I'm waiting for some spots, there we go. Black Prince. Standard rounds on this gun are good enough for a Black Prince. 
as long as it doesn't angle very well. Right, more spots, trying to scope out shots. And I get spotted. Right, here we go. They're on the hill, and it took me that long to notice. Pretty poor play for me there. Here comes a Tiger 2. So I put my attention on the Tiger 2. Lose my first bit of hit points there. But he's going for artillery. Gives me a bit of time just to work him over. Going for tracking shots. Hopefully engine fires at the same time. And now this rock does troll me a little bit. Retrack gives him limited options. Although the gun on the Tiger is fully upgraded. You can see that. He can pen me from... Oh, you cheeky get. And here comes the IS-3. Right, so now I try to jump off the back of the hill. Kill the Tiger 2, and then boom. Hit a rock, I'm here for the duration now. And that Black Prince is penning me from then, then, here we go. Trying to fire, trying to fire. Yep, that's it, game over for me. And it was that bad. I had to go back to the dashboard, reset the game. And when I logged back in, the game was over, there was nothing in the log page, and I have absolutely no idea how that game went down. And that's what I've been having to put up with at a minute, fellas, and that's why um, I've not really been able to stock up on replays, because a lot of them have just been ruined like that. Anyway, next game, WZ1114, tier 10 game, a lot of tier 10 TDs, and most of my team, all of our tier 10s, just decided to park in front of tier 10 TDs and die. Uh, I've done a little bit of damage. I end up being top damage dealer on our team, and just watch this. Right, going in on Siag Panzer. I mess up a bit here. I should have gone for a tracking shot, although I did the right thing by getting behind him. I should have gone for a tracking shot first because at this point I do not know if he's got a repair kit. I'm right, going to fire, fire, and uh, nothing happens. Not even a gun sound. And I'm pulling the trigger, I'm like, hey, you shortchanged me there. Where's my round gone? I needed that round. Right, so I hit him again. He comes backwards. He starts to turn, so I go the other way. Now a little bit of lag. Boom, and I jump, and I've tracked myself. And I'm in front of a Jagdpanzer. Aim his lower plate, and it bounces. I think I must have hit the tip of his gun. And luckily, only get away with a tracking shot. He's ramming my tracks, he's resetting my tracks. But he lets me just get them on. So here we go. He's turning now, he's, he's anticipating what I'm going to do. So I come round, boom, take his tracks off. And he had a repair kit left. Get hit by the other Jagdpanzer, and he finishes me off. And um, so there's two Jagdpanzers and two artilleries versus a low health. Um, 5120 who turned out to be a massive cluster anyway right so that's it fellas that's it for this episode just thought I'd uh, let you in on uh, some of the stupid situations I've had to deal with lately with this lag but I should be home in two days time and I will be recording on my nice fiber optic broadband again and hopefully getting some better replays for you right cheers guys I'll catch you on the next one see you later <laughs>